those who have undertaken the four bases for psychic power have undertaken the noble path leading to the complete destruction of suffering. Stop here for a moment. Eh? Why is that the psychic power has to do with the destruction of suffering? There are six what are known as uh, higher knowledges, Abhinya. And these six higher knowledges uh, uh, are the fruits of cultivating the holy life. Uh, the higher, higher knowledges, the higher fruits. Uh, and uh, out of these six, uh, five of them have to do with psychic power. Uh, the first one is, uh, uh, I think the English word is psychokinesis, various types of psychic power like flying in the air, going through the wall, <coughs> diving into the water, sorry, diving into the earth, like diving into water, walking on the surface of the water, uh, one body multiplying into many bodies, etc. Et so that's the first one. The second one is like a heavenly eye, <coughs> or divine eye. You can see devas and devis and ghosts, etc. And then another one is a, a divine ear or heavenly ear where you can hear the sounds of spiritual beings. And then another one is being able to remember your past lives. Another one is uh, uh, being able to read other people's minds. So, uh, these are the five, plus the another one now, which is not considered psychic power, but which is the most important, is the destruction of the asavas. When you destroy the asavas, you become liberated, become an arahan. So that is why if you can attain psychic power, you are very near to enlightenment already. All you need is to listen to the right sutta, and you will become enlightened. Uh, so that's why here it says uh, that the, uh, those who have undertaken the four bases for psychic powers have undertaken the noble path leading to, to the complete destruction of suffering. What